All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. So the game is just wrapping up right now uh, behind me here. May no, I turned the TV off. Uh, there's like 30 seconds left, and USC's just running the clock out. So Huskies lose their first game of the season, lose their first game in almost a calendar year. And it, it's not great right now. So to talk about this game, there's not much to talk about, so I'll just grind it out. The whole team played, okay, defensively, we struggled. No Joe Mathis, we had no pass rush pretty much that whole game unless we were blitzing, and when we blitzed, they picked us apart. Uh, we lost uh, Victor Azim early in that game. He got carted off. I don't think he ever came back. I don't think Wuchin was out there. He might have been out there. I'm not sure. So USC's offense had success. They ran the ball decently. They had a lot of big plays through the air. They were productive throughout the whole game, really. Uh, at the beginning, we were doing okay. We held USC to, I think, a field goal in the first quarter. And then after that, they, they, they played really well. They converted a bunch of third downs. I think their third down conversion rate was close to 50% or 55%. Um, their playmakers stepped up on third down. I think that was the main thing I took away from this game. We just couldn't get off the field on third down. Um, but this is a good USC offense. Sam Darnold is a star in the making. Juju Smith is a phenomenal playmaker for them, even though offensively he was a little subdued tonight, just in general. And, you know, they have other good receivers, receivers too. Darius Rogers, Daniel, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that last name. You guys know who I'm talking about. Uh, Deontay Burnett, you know, they, they, they have playmakers. This is a good offense. They put up 24 points. I know they converted a lot of third downs. I know they dominated time of possession, or at least I'm sure they did. I know it wasn't a good game by the defense, but when you're playing a team like USC, you got to expect this kind of stuff is going to happen. I have no problem with this defense giving up 24 points to USC, but really, I'm not too mad about this loss, and I don't really know why. I should be, but I'm not because of what it means for our season. But if I was going to get really mad about this game, and I think I'm not. I think I'm just going to move on and take it. Um, this offense desperately needed to step up way more than they did. This offense was an embarrassment tonight against USC's defense played really good. They played one of their best games of the season so far, probably the best given what our offense had been doing lately. That USC defense played great. They got a ton of pressure on the passer. Their secondary wasn't letting our receivers get open on a regular basis. They stopped the run. They tackled. But this offense, I mean... The only guy on this offense who deserves anything right now is John Ross. John Ross did everything he could in that game. Our one touchdown in this game came off a, I don't want to call it a busted coverage because John Ross just ran past the guy, but, you know, wide open, open by like five steps, and he just pitch and catch. That's the only guy. Jake Browning played his worst game of the season. Jake Browning was awful. And, it, you know, the quarterback stuff, stuff was bad. The decision-making was bad. Both picks were bad. Um, one of them was basically a punt. I get it. <coughs> um, he missed <coughs> a lot of chances to make big plays down the field. Um, he floated deep passes. He underthrew players down the field several times. Um, they, they pressured him, and he couldn't handle it. Although, I'll, I'll, I'll get to that. And, you know, at the end of the game, you know, it was just, like, almost appropriate. Two straight plays, he falls down. He just trips over his own feet. And that ends the game. Whatever little chance we had of winning that game went out the window with those two plays. Where the first one, Browning literally evades, like, five USC pass rushers. Makes, escapes an impossible-to-escape sack. And then Browning just kind of falls down. So, um, yeah, that sucked. That's not going to help your Heisman candidacy. That was a terrible night for Jake. Uh, the running game, you guys were terrible. Couldn't run the ball for shit. Gaskin was bad. Coleman was bad. And I'm not putting this on them. I know when a running game on a team doesn't work, it has to do with a lot of things. 
And in this game, we had a big problem with the offensive line. The pass rush for USC was getting home constantly. And Browning didn't deal with the pressure well at all. I get that. But the offensive line played their worst game of the season. So it all works together in tandem, guys. Um, and then you have the other little things that really add up in a game like this. The field goal that got blocked. That was a huge swing. Kick that field goal. Maybe the whole game is different. Uh, the punting. Uh, Viscano. Right when we needed a good punt from Viscano, <coughs> he shanks it for like a 30-yard punt. Just pretty disappointed in how badly the team played tonight, but um, I don't know. I'm not as mad as I feel I probably should be because um, I understand that defensively we're just missing a huge part of our pass rush, and it, it's going to happen. It's not going to be fun all the time watching this defense. I get that, but um, wow. So, yeah, 9-1. Uh, and one. Still at the top of the Pac-12. Still look like the best team in the Pac-12. I mean, not not tonight, for sure. USC just came into Seattle and frickin'... Uh. But um, for me, this... I'm not going to say it ends the uh, playoff hope, but it does a lot of damage to it because this is a team that the I fully expect the playoff system will do whatever it takes to keep us out of it. And I'm not even saying that to complain. It is fair. We are playing not... A, we are in a weak conference this year. We had to go undefeated to make sure they couldn't do anything to keep us out. Now that we have that one loss, even though we lost to a really good USC team, and USC was ranked 20th in the nation going into tonight after their terrible start to the season. So... I, I just... I know there's still reason to be optimistic. We can still win the Pac-12. We can still be, you know, 12-1 and or whatever. And that could be good enough. I mean, Clemson lost today. Michigan might lose to, to right now. I'm, um, I'm going to watch that game after I'm done here. Michigan might lose to Iowa. But I'm just kind of disappointed in the bad effort I saw tonight. Uh, I understand Joe Mathis being out is huge, but the guys who are out there, could have played better, and and quite frankly, this whole offense, except for John Ross, played like shit. And I don't know what caused it. And I know that USC's defense played really good, but we um, y there's no excuse for uh, the way the offense played today. Period. All right, I'm gonna go watch the late games, and you know, hopefully Iowa pulls it off. That would be you know a good result for us, obviously, but um. We no longer control our destiny, I feel. I know if we went out, a lot of people are going to say we're probably going to get in. I'm, I'm not convinced. I don't think that a one-loss Washington team is going to look very good next to a one-loss Michigan or a one-loss Clemson or even a one-loss Alabama, although they're probably going to be a no-loss Alabama. And meanwhile, after today, how can you feel good about the Wazoo game? Because Wazoo has one of the best passing attacks in the league, and we cannot rush the passer right now for shit. We can only rush the passer when we get, um, when we're blitzing, and that weakens our secondary to a tremendous degree. And this is um, what we're stuck with. So, all right, I'm going to go watch these late games, but um, pretty disappointed, not crushed or anything like I thought I would be when this team finally lost a game, but... You went out and see what happens. See you guys later.